All right, welcome back. Let's talk about backgrounds here on Scratch. So there's a couple different ways you can actually reference this. You have, um, you know, it can be the background of the screen. You can also call it the stage. It's actually located right over here to the right. Um, you can actually call that a backdrop. So it's kind of different names, but basically it's the background for your program. Um, so if you click on this over here, you get some options for code but you also can choose different backdrops. And there's different ways to add a backdrop. You can draw your own backdrop, so you can actually go to paint, and you know you could um, fill this in and you know create just a purple background if you wanted to. Um, if I drag that over a little more, kind of filled it in a little bit, um, that'd fill in more of the screen. Um, if I wanted to, I could go and choose a backdrop. So maybe, you know, depending on, on what your interest is, maybe you're doing like a baseball themed thing for scratch. And so you could add a baseball field. Um, you can also just have it surprise you and pick one, or you could go find a background of your own and then upload it to scratch and add it that way, okay? So those are kind of the four ways to add a backdrop in here. Now there's more to this than just the backdrops. One, you can stock them in here and have multiple backdrops. So right now we have three, although this one's kind of blank and I could get rid of it with this trash can right here. I can just click on this and get rid of that. Um, but right now we'll, we have these two. Then we'll kind of go with this for our coding. There's also some other things you can do here as well. If I click on this, you know, I can, um, again, use the paint part of this and I can edit this as well. Maybe I wanted to, you know, fill in the lines here with a color or the bases and I could color these in, okay? Uh, maybe I wanted to actually put a, a different base here and have it be purple. I could do that. And so that would be now home plate. Um, and for this video, I mean, we're not going to take a lot of time to discuss this, but um, you can edit this in a lot of different ways. You can use the fill can and, and fill different things in if you wanted to fill that in, if you wanted to fill the base in like this. And you could change the colors um, different ways. Okay? So that's kind of how you edit, edit the background. Okay? So again, we have two backgrounds here. We have this one and the purple one. You can go to code you actually have some options. Now, obviously you don't have motion for backdrops. And so this is always something to consider if you're programming a character and you notice that you don't have any motion blocks, um, it probably means your stage is highlighted and that's why it doesn't give you the code options for that. If I click on my character, now I have motion blocks, different look blocks, sounds, things like that. And so if I go to my backdrops, it limits that. It doesn't have any motions. Um, it does have looks. Um, and you do have some sounds and things like that, but really we're going to focus on the looks here because what we're going to focus on is we can switch the backdrop. We can switch the backdrop and wait. Um, and this goes more with like if you have um, timing something out and things like that. Um, I'm actually going to move that off of here because it's very similar to this. Um, and then you have the next backdrop. So I could add an event to this like this. And what happens is when I press the space bar, it's going to go to baseball. So if I press the space bar, it's going to go to the baseball field. If I wanted to change that and do backdrop two, I could. And it's going to go to the backdrop two. I could also do next backdrop from here. And it would switch from the next backdrop or the previous, or it would choose a random if we had a lot of backdrops in there. But if I did next backdrop, basically every time I hit the space bar, it's going to change the background. Okay. Now, if you didn't want to do it that way, you could use this one as well. And this is over here in looks. Okay. Same concept. It's just next backdrop. Just a different code block. Does the same exact thing. You can also, so let's keep this here and we're going to grab an event again. And instead of the space bar, we'll have it be the A key. And now I'm going to go back to looks. And maybe what I want to do is change the color effect of this. And so when I hit the A key, it's going to change the color effect by 25. And I can modify this as well. You know, right now it's set to 25. Maybe I want it to be smaller uh, increments. And it just kind of goes through the different colors and changes that effect. And you'll see here now it's changing those colors every time I hit the A key. And you could do some things with this too. You could actually go to commands and you could put a forever around it. Um, 
and then it would be changing the color effect all the time when I hit the A key. Now it'll run forever to do that, but maybe that's something that you want to do. Now it kind of looks like, um, you know, a blinking background, but maybe that's a little uh, tough to look at. Maybe what I want to do is put a weight in there. So now when I press the A key, it's going to change the color effect and every second it's going to delay and then change the color effect. Just kind of a different way to, to do that. Um, so you can change the color effect. All right. The other option for you in looks is you can set the color effect um, and then you can also clear them as well. So maybe what we had done here is we kind of had changed this a little bit and we can clear that and get rid of it. And you could just add that to something like this and it would clear that. Okay. And then the same thing with this, if you wanted to change it just just a one-time thing, you could use set instead of change and it will set it to that color. Um, and so that's just a different way of affecting the backdrop. Okay. So again, with backdrops, you could have a lot of backdrops in here and, you know, just depends on what you want to do. You could have it change backdrops um, from code from here. You could also, your character actually has a way to switch the backdrops as well. So you could put the code in the character and then have that code in the character change the backdrop. So if I, you know, have the code here instead of in my backdrops, I just have the character and maybe it's, you know, if the character touches something or wins a race, maybe the character is playing in a race and it gets around, wins the race, and then you want that to change the backdrop. Okay, so then you can click on that or once it, that achieves that, it will then change it to the different backdrop. Maybe you want to have like, congratulations, you win, something like that. So that's just kind of how you affect the backdrops and, and change them. Okay, so hopefully that helps you with this and, and continues your learning of Scratch. Good luck.